I want to dive in and explain a little bit more about how I get aligned. And I believe this is going to help you out tremendously in learning what it takes to be able to build that circuitry within your body so that a higher frequency aspect of you is more readily available when you get triggered, when these events happen, when chaos ensues, when your ego gets really, really loud and it pulls you off the, the rails. Essentially, you can get lost in the ego for a long, long time if you're not observant and can see and understand what is happening with your energy in the moment. So I talk a lot about on this channel about how to get aligned, how to simply breathe into the heart space to help yourself recenter, and how to ground, anchor into the chakras, and things like that. But I want to tell you that that ease of which we learn to get aligned or can get aligned comes over a period of time. It starts with making that commitment to yourself to be utilizing these modalities day in, day out, and throughout your day. You see, a lot of people I work with, they wait until a trigger happens and then they start to utilize breath work, for example. And that's really too late. That works once you've built the circuitry within your body by utilizing breath work and meditation and grounding techniques and things like that when you're not triggered, when you're just finding yourself in the space to be able to practice these things. So this new aspect of you that is landing, that has this gravity, this consciousness that is able to pull you back into alignment when you get triggered, takes time and it takes commitment to really install that. Remember, you're going against decades, even lifetimes of conditioning, programming, limiting beliefs that try to convince you, your ego through your ego, that reality is a certain way, which is a very small, limited aspect of reality. Your higher self, on the other hand, is moving through you and it is allowing a greater reality to open up right before your eyes. It manifests in your reality, but you need to be able to hold those frequencies. You have to have the space within your body to do that. And if you wait until you get triggered when you're in this fight or flight mode or fight or flight state, when everything's compressed and constricted and your energy's not moving, it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to reverse that and create that space. So what I do is I will practice, and I've been doing this really since I awakened to this. Back in around 2018, my crown popped open, my guides came forward. I started utilizing breath work, and I had a mentor that I worked with that showed me how to get into the body and create space within the body. And I did that throughout the day regularly. I didn't wait until I was triggered. I did it when I was just sitting around, when I was feeling good, when my frequency, I felt aligned, maybe a little bit of a higher frequency, I would easily then connect with those higher frequency states. They were more available to me because I was not in the midst of dense energy or trigger. And I would become that. I would fully feel it. I would move energy through my body using breath work. And I would become that higher self, my higher self that knew me in that moment. And I would do that throughout the day. In my A New You program, that's what I teach. We want to do these things throughout the day. So we do this so that we can set the stage to be able to alchemize the density as it rises up or the shadow work period or navigate even a dark night of the soul. So when we're consciously moving into these higher frequency states, we're practicing, so to speak, right, in becoming these higher frequency states and maintaining these higher frequency states, that state then becomes more available to you when the shit hits the fan, when the triggers come, when the challenges come, when the mind pops up and starts wanting to control everything and keeping you small, keeping you living the same day in and out, keeping you in a frequency of lack, not allowing you to see or get in tune with your creative potential, your potential to see opportunities, and basically just manifesting that old version of you. So it's very easy to slip back into that because that's what we've always done. That's called programming. That's called patterns. Your body, your circuitry, your neurons are wired for that state. 
that emotional state starts with a thought, triggers an emotional state, doesn't feel good, triggers the body into a physiological state, which then shrinks, your blood pressure goes up, you start breathing shallow, you lose yourself in that old dense aspect. But when we could connect, and that's not the time to try to connect with a higher aspect and reverse that process, right? The time to do that is when you're not in the midst of a trigger, when you could find some quiet space, when you could relax, even if you're at work throughout your day, remember that you are a multidimensional being, get in tune with the truth of who you are, and reconnect with that throughout your day when you're not being controlled by this dense, the lure of the dense energy. So I started my journey doing that and practicing this, and over time, and being committed to that, and sure, sometimes there were, po there were points in times when I didn't meditate as much as I should have, still don't, right? There are times when I don't. Don't bring it back to the breath as often as I should, right? But I've noticed that as I've gone through my journey, my ego has far less energy available to it. That charge is a lot less. Sure, things come up. Sure, there's an initial, uh, I got to deal with this, right? But it is way less charged. It has way less electromagnetic energy. That energy used to be so strong that I would I would literally get sucked right into it. I talk about energy vampires, the ego being an energy vampire. I'd literally get sucked right into it, sometimes for days on end. You literally go unconscious and lose yourself. But the ego doesn't have that energy anymore. There is something present within me now that speaks more loudly. There's more of a gravity here. And I simply find myself having to let go of the ego, recognizing it and letting go. And I drift back into the heart center. I find that peace. And that peace is there because I have anchored it. I have embodied it consciously. I took the time. I did the work. I did the grounding exercises. Did the breath work. These are things I teach in A New You. And got inside and became that energy, that higher frequency light, allowed my higher self to move in. And now I've got this larger presence of me here, integrated in my physical vessel. So when something triggers me and the ego pops up, that voice pops up and starts doing this, there's something bigger in my field that has a stronger gravity, a stronger draw. draw. And that's the heart space. So it's so much easier to just let go and find myself drifting in. So I don't have to be in resistance trying to fight the dense energy. I can just tune in to this bigger being, my higher self, this frequency that's been embodied and allow myself to simply float right back into it. It has its own gravity. It's a higher state of awareness. It's a higher state of consciousness. So if you find that you've been struggling to get out of your own way, you just keep getting triggered. Know that, first of all, it takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes discipline to utilize these modalities even when you're not feeling bad. That's just it. When we feel good, we're like, I don't need that. I feel good. But when you sit and you utilize the breath work, for example, while you're feeling good, while you're not being triggered, you allow more of your higher self to move in your physical body. It comes down. You raise your frequency consciously by getting in tune with your breath. You're bringing all of this energy that used to go out into the field in the distraction, and you're focusing it on your breath. You're bringing it into your body. You're creating more space by moving energy consciously through your body, which means more of your higher self is flowing through you. So that energy then becomes a part of who you are. It's turned on. You're tuned into it. It's just available for you. And as you continue doing this, okay, over the course of weeks, months, years, that then becomes who you are. Are. So less of your energy gets diverted to the ego when you get triggered. You find that you have a lot easier time just letting go and re-stabilizing. I know there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of content. There's a lot of great courses that teach you how to get aligned and teach you how to get centered. But if you don't utilize that day in and day out and continue to practice that, make it the new you, the way you operate, that is just part of who you are is practicing breath work and connecting and grounding and taking some time to meditate, to 
to observe your thoughts, you make that the new you, then your reality will start to reflect a higher frequency reality. A new version of reality will become available to you. These realities are all here. They're all layered on top of each other. Think of them as frequency bandwidths or on a frequency scale. Different frequencies equal different realities. If you've spent your lifetime down in the lower frequencies, you've just been observing or experiencing these lower frequency realities. When you start to take the time and get present, create the space, and your frequency rises, your body's frequency rises, these higher frequency realities now start to make themselves known. They start to reveal themselves to you. We don't have to go searching for anything. It's all right here. You just need to get out of your own way. But I'm here to tell you that it has taken years for me to get to the point. And this year particularly, I've noticed a big leap forward with trusting and letting go of the old and really starting to detach from these old neurotic type thoughts that my ego would use to control me. It's trying to keep me safe, right? It's trying to keep me within the known. But now I'm wanting to start to experience the unknown even more. That's the experience. That's why we're here. In order to do that, you have to take the keys back from the ego or it's going to drive the car into a ditch over and over and over again. And that's what you're going to experience day in and day out. So if your life is the same, you're learning new things, you're trying new things, but nothing seems to stick. And your days are manifesting the same over and over and over again. I want you to know there's nothing wrong with you. It's simply a matter of consistency, committing to yourself, and supporting yourself. Being in groups, being in communities that are fully supportive of this journey because it is a challenging journey. Why would we want to go to a place that's so easy and effortless? We want to dive into the density. We want to navigate that density and open up or return to an effortless state. When we're not here in the physical, things are seamless. Things are effortless. We came here to experience the density. So we navigate through that. We allow more of our higher self to move in. We allow ourselves to unveil higher frequency realities. And we simply revel in love and enjoy that experience. If you are ready to commit to your journey, I'm offering 15-minute discovery calls. There's a link in the description. I urge you to schedule one of those as soon as you can. Let's kickstart your journey. Let's figure out where you're stuck and what it's going to take for you to move forward. I'm there for you and I would love to hop on a call. So schedule that today. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.